Grace and peace to you on this fourth day of Lent as we continue in our Lenten series, Being a Christian, Advice from Paul in Romans 12. Today we are focusing on Romans 12 too. And before I read this verse, I invite you to pause for a moment, settle in, and open your heart and mind to hear the word of the Lord. Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your minds. The word integrity has two related meanings. The first is soundness of moral character. The second is the state of being whole and entire. Integrity is from the Latin integer, a whole number, a thing complete. A person of integrity is a whole person, a person who lives as God our creator made and intends for us to live, a person whose heart is close to God. Integrity is being the same person outside and in, being authentic in our words and actions, doing what's good, even when it's hard. To paraphrase the author Charles Marshall, integrity is doing what's right even when no one else is watching. In the words of Dallas Willard in his book, The Divine Conspiracy, Jesus is Lord can mean little in practice for anyone who has to hesitate before saying, Jesus is smart. He is not just nice, he is brilliant. He is the smartest man who ever lived. He is now supervising the entire course of human history while simultaneously preparing the rest of the universe for our future role in it. He always has the best information on everything and certainly also on the things that matter most in human life. Plainly, in the eyes of Jesus, there is no good reason for not doing what he said to do for he only tells us to do what is best. In one situation, he asks his students, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I say? Just try picturing yourself standing before him and explaining why you did not do what he said was best. Now it may be that there are cases in which this is appropriate, and certainly we can count on his understanding. But it will not do as a general posture in a life of confidence in him. In what ways do you find yourself conforming to this world? Let us pray. Gracious God, help us to resist the pressures of this fallen world as you form us in your powerful love. Amen. 